Hello everybody, Adam coming at you once again, and this tree branch in my ear. All right, anyway, how you guys doing for 2021, huh? Everything's going fine here. Figured I'd do a quick little video of my new gear for 2021. It's uh, not that exciting, as you will see, but it's just a few small things I picked up just to uh, do the backpacker prog progression, I guess you could say. So we're out here in the uh, Pincho State Forest. I have uh, Kurt Zitzelman. He's uh, spending the night out here with us. And uh, just doing a quick overnight. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get down to like the high 20s, low 30s tonight. So it's going to be a fantastic time. So with that said, let's get started and uh, show you some new gear picks for 2021. All right. My first big gear change for 2021 is this here. This is the Hemlock Mountains. Uh, red tail hammock it is built out of made out of uh, one ounce monolite and look it you can see right through it this stuff is fantastic and this is pretty ultra light the whole hammock setup is now just a hammock with the straps and stuff like that you're looking at about 14 ounces now I did swap out my the stock suspension on it with war bonnet suspension uh, and I saved, it was almost three ounces. So this might be a little bit lighter than what they are stock. But it's a full net hammock that can become netless. If you look, uh, when Kurt built this, he put these uh, line locks up here and you just roll up. It's got it's zippered on either side. So you can roll up the bug net and then have a, a netless hammock. But uh, I love the fact that you can see right through through this stuff. That is, uh, you would think it's not strong, but man, is it strong. I mean, it's it's the same as like what my warm bonnet would be, and it's half the weight, pretty much. So, another fantastic gear change. It comes with the Ridgeline Organizer, if you could see that through the bug net. But that's uh, fantastic. I love this thing. I slept in it. I don't know, probably three nights so far over winter time. Uh, I ordered this from Kurt back in the fall and, uh, you know, got it and stayed in it, like I said, a couple nights. And so far it's been a staple in my gear list right now. But uh, one thing I did do also, if you remember on my last hammocks, I always used carabiners on my, uh, on my straps. I did away with that. I figured if I'm going to go ultra light, try to go as light as possible so i did away with the i did away with the carabiners and now i just loop the straps through through themselves just like you see here but all right on to the next item all right well my number two piece of gear for 2021 is i jumped on the bag bandwagon and i got a dyneema tarp yeah i know i'm crazy and honestly, I'm not real crazy about it. it. It's awesome for ultralight and stuff like that. Me and Kurt were just discussing this. It is fantastic if you want to go ultralight, but with ultralight comes other things like being fragile. It doesn't stuff down as, as far as my Sil Nylon tarp does. Uh, it's great. This is uh, the Hammock Gear standard tarp with doors. Uh, I have the doors deployed on one side here as you can see and uh i mean the weight savings is awesome like this whole thing weighs like eight ounces if that and uh yeah so this is new for 2021 i don't know how much you're actually going to be seeing it because i really do like my uh, mama jamba war bonnet uh tarp my still nylon this is just real big and bulky so if i have a lot of bulky stuff in my pack it's i don't know it, i got this more for like winter and stuff like that and for ultralight it is lighter than my war bonnet but there it is and if you know if you didn't notice yes it is upside down and the reason is is because the way i have the doors tied back i don't like them flapping in the wind so i figured if i run the doors tied back on the inside then i don't have to worry about that flapping as much and it really doesn't matter which side is up for the weather but yep there you have it i jumped on the bandwagon spent the money and i got a dyneema tarp Yay. All right, on to the next thing. All right. Now that you saw the hammock and the tarp, we'll go on to a little bit of a smaller, a little bit smaller things. Uh, got here, this is a courtesy of DB Cooper. He got me a, a hang time hook. So I could watch 
videos in my hammock at night and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm always finding myself, I'm holding my phone like this. So this is going to be pretty nice being able to hang it from the ridge line and uh, put my phone in it and watch and fall asleep. I usually put my earbuds in and uh, listen to stuff and fall asleep so that way I don't have to listen to people snoring. Uh, second is I picked up uh, an MSR pocket rocket. Uh, I'm a, I, I have a sickness. Uh, I have a fascination with stoves and means of illumination as in lanterns, headlamps, stuff like that. If you saw my collection, you'd say there's something wrong with you. But, uh, so this is just a new stove. Uh, I kind of like this better than the BRS. Uh, I still love my alcohol stove. Don't get me wrong. When I go backpack, I take my alcohol stove, but for car camping and quick overnight trips, the MS pocket rockets, the way to go. Um, the BRS is nice. It's light, but it just doesn't hold the pots all that well. You kind of have to center and hold them on there really, you know, because they'll fall over. Ask me how I know. So this has a nice wide pot, uh, pot stand on it and everything like that. And it's an MSR, so it's got to be good, right? So, all right. Uh, next up is the Kanak bag or C knock bag, whatever you want to say. I got this last fall. I used it like once, I think so far, but I'm going to be putting it to use for this season. I always carried Sawyer bags with me and I always heard how bad they were. But I just like the fact of this, that if I could get it off, you pick it, you pull this off, you can dip this right into water, open it up like that, put the water in, turn it and, uh, you know, zip it closed and then uh, squeeze your water out of it. I'm still sticking with the Sawyer squeeze. Uh, as you may know, I, I tried the Life Straw uh, version and it was horrible. So right back to Sawyer squeeze and I'm using the, the Canuck bag. And uh, last but not least is this here. This is an authentic Hemlock Mountain outdoors pouch. Uh, I told Kurt when he would, I said, Kurt, I need a pouch to hold my wallet and my keys and I need it bright enough so I can see it. This is what he came up with. Fantastic. It's a, it's a double layer pouch. It's orange on the outside, yellow on the inside, and you can actually zip it either way, whether you want, want it yellow out or orange out, it'll go either way. Fantastic product, not very much money. I highly suggest you go over to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors and just see what he has. He has all kinds of knickknacks and stuff like that. And, uh, some great stuff little thing little things like this make a difference and you wouldn't believe it but it really does so oh well all right guys well that was my gear list well not my gear list but my new stuff for 2021 i'd really like to hear what yours are uh post in the comments make a video i always like seeing what new gear is out there so with that said have a great 2021 season and uh hope to see everyone's trips and we'll get back to you soon I'm hoping to go on quite a few myself. I have a few things in the works, but they're not finalized yet. So with that said, we'll see you next time. Out.